Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm going to be showing you a little performance boost for Metro Exodus. Now the game is very, very taxing as we all know. This is pretty much the ultra preset that we've got here. The game does feature an extreme preset, but I'm on a 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 and it's the Rock Edition, so it is overclocked. It's got the uh, overclock running and as you can see, my FPS yeah, we're dropping down to like 35 in this sort of snow environment. There's no bad guys on the screen at the moment. So, yeah, you could lock it to 30 and play it at this quality. But, you know, if we, this is a performance gain to be had, let's do it. Now, the performance gain I'm going to show you is not in the options setting. So you have got to do a little bit of a file edit. But it's not a big deal and it gains you about 20%. So as you can see, we're averaging, what, 40, 35 there when we turn around and it loads all the new textures in. There you go, you get a rough idea of what we're running at. So just to show you my options before we go ahead and change anything in any file, so you can see that they are matching before and after. There we go, we're on ultra. There's all my settings, nothing changed lot. We'll do the little swap. If we go and do the little tweak now. So what you're looking for guys is your saved game folder. Now, could be in a couple of locations because obviously you can buy this game or you could buy this game on Steam and now it's the Epic Store, but it depends where it is. Mine, for example, is on C Drive, Users, Your Name, yeah, whatever your name is on the computer, Save Games, Metro Exodus, and then you'll have a long number, and you should have these two files, okay? Now you want user.cfg, you're gonna right click on that, go down to Open With, hold on a minute, oh, there we go, lost where Open With was then, um, and we're gonna go Notepad, Okay, so we don't want to always use that, just go notepad, okay. And it will open up the window with all this lot in it. Now if we scroll all the way down to R, R foliage shadows one, that's the line that we want, that's the line that we're gonna change. So if we get rid of the one and put a zero instead, we are altering something in the game, but you, you really can't see it. I mean, it, it won't look any different, but your performance game will be there. So delete the one, put a zero, go back to file and click save. Done. You can now get rid of that and you can also close your window. Here with the little tweak enabled, I'll just show you my graphic settings very, very quickly. Uh, okay, video, there we go. There's the presets that I'm running. Don't like motion blueing games, always turn that down. V-Sync off, obviously, so we can see the proper readout. Ultra, DX11, DX12 does seem to crash the game for me, so we're on DX11. Hair works off, and there's the others. So that's where we're at, same as last time. Uh, just go back. So we're on 41 FPS, run forward in the snow there. Sort of stay in footage. You will get it dropping to 30 still, but at the end of the day, it's better than it was. 35, we have got a low. Overall, I've tested it in quite a few scenes and it doesn't drop as low, so it does seem to work. It's about 20%, it's not a lot, but everything helps, doesn't it? So there you go. Guys, give it a try for yourself. It's free, it's not gonna cost you anything, so at least give it a try. You know, Let me know what you think, if it does any good or not. I mean, it might have different effects on higher-end video cards, might have different effects on lower ones, who knows? For now, guys, that's a wrap. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again next time.